I am George with NS345. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Today I'm gonna get straight to automation. I feel I'm getting really close to the end of this mix now, so let's get to it. I'm gonna take it by section. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put it on automation mode and I did that by doing option and dash or the minus sign. And that basically switches it from waveform to volume. So I'm only focused on volume. Now I'm gonna do command four and I'm gonna make sure that my automation parameters only include volume. I'm not worried about mute or plugin or anything just now. So in case I make a mistake, uh, this won't be an issue. Let's say the mute was engaged or the pan, so any changes I made by accident would be captured. So I'm just gonna leave it on volume. Again, that's command four to bring it up. So let's just listen to it from the beginning. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the bass a little bit just for the intro. And I'm gonna make sure I'm on right mode. Okay, so that's the bass. Do you want Good, let's hear the guitar. This should be on right mode. Okay, so I like that finger picking that's going on, so I want that to come up a little bit. Do you wanna be my Something happened there, let's see. Okay, that's good. The piano's too loud, so let me work on that as well. And that will be keys here. Let me just make sure. So I know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, the piano needs to come up on that little part right before the verse. Right here. Do you want to be my baby? Is this could be more than just a one night Monday. You got my heart acting crazy, baby. My Do you want to be my baby? Is this could be Okay, so I worked on the bass, the guitar a little bit, and now the keys. Let's just hear the vocal, I think just for this part in the verse. Put it in right mode, here we go. Do you wanna be my Do you wanna be my baby? Okay, 
let me look at the background vocals there. I'm gonna put that in right mode. And I'm actually gonna automate the bus, not the actual vocals themselves. So I think the balance is okay with the vocals. Okay, so basically what I did is just made a little room for the lead vocal here. If you notice, the background vocals dip down a little bit while the lead vocal just maintain a consistent volume. You don't want the background vocals all over the lead vocal. You want the lead vocal to be the lead vocal. So let's keep going and let's see what we got in the chorus with the instruments first. Let me just look, listen to the guitar real quick. Don't say goodbye. Not really much there. Let's just hear the keys real quick. So I think that sounds okay. Let's just the lead vocal maybe too loud. Okay, so you get the idea, and this is what I'm gonna do to the rest of the song. Pick it up again on the next video, but pretty much I'm only listening to the different sections, and I'm trying to get just a good balance, and these are just like the final touches. And after this, I'll look at some mix bus processing. Could have done at the beginning, but I'm gonna do it now, and then I'll talk about some other things that I need to do before I consider this mix complete. Okay, so I'll catch you on the next video. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. And let me know if you have any questions. I love your questions. I love your feedback. So all the best. Thanks.